cloud with this week's precious metals market update. There's not a whole lot going on. It's very quiet, and yet uh, delivery times continue to fall back because demand silver has come to a six-year low last week at 1450, uh, 1450, and gold hit a five-year low at 1057 per ounce. So certainly there's two ways to look at that is that we're in a bear market, which on charts, it does look like a potential bear market, no question about it. And then when you deal in the physical end of it, and you see the demand for gold and silver when price drops, and the Royal Canadian Mint cuts our allocation 90% for two weeks, and we see the U.S. Mint closing us down for 17 days, and only this past Monday, the 27th, did they start back taking orders uh, for deliveries in two to four weeks of Silver Eagles and Gold Eagles. So you're seeing a big demand at these prices, and yet if you look at a technical chart, the momentum buyers are not ready yet. They're continuing to see if this thing will break support and go even lower. Now certainly that is not an impossibility. But the things we have going for us is this is the end of July, which always has been the, the worst month of the year for pricing, not every year, but most years. And we're moving into the three best months of the year. Even if we are in a bear market, we know that the months of August, September, and October for the last 14 years have returned over 7.5% per year on gold and silver and the average is in double digits, around 12% per year. We actually have buyers uh, that have loaded up this week buying gold and silver and plan on being in for three or four months. And we see these same buyers every year that look at this. But from a gut feeling, things feel very similar to 2008 when nobody wanted gold and silver Silver was down to $9.50, and it had been in a six-month uh, decline due to the economic troubles in 08. And in November of 08, we saw silver start bouncing. And between November of 08 and November of 2011, silver went from under $10 to $47. And we think we're getting ready to see that bounce again, even though the charts aren't looking like that, the demand certainly has picked up dramatically. All it takes is one of these major people to take their shorts off of the metal, silver, gold, and go long or just go the sidelines. But right now we continue to see them buying shorts and then buying, I mean, selling, having shorts and then uh, buying the physical if they keep the price down until they get all the gold and silver they want. On the gold faction, we have reports in today that we've seen in the first quarter that central banks around the world had 120 tons for the uh, sixth straight year uh, of an increase, and we saw the Bank of China had 608 tons uh, just in the quarter one of this year. So central banks around the world are buying gold like crazy while we are sitting there scared it's going to go down. But we still have all the same problems. We're running, running huge deficits. The China's going to be a member of the IMF on October 20th. We're going to see them go to reserve status with special drawing rights, which will take away from the UPS, U.S. Uh, dollar. We continue to see the AIIB Bank cutting into the World Bank's power. All these things are very good. For metals. So it's one of these things where you can try to wait and catch the bottom if we haven't already had it, which about half our sources or more say we've had the bottom of the six year low in silver and the five year low in gold, and now it's getting ready to go much higher. And I still uh, look at it, as I said many times, this is an insurance policy against your investments. And there is no insurance policy in the world that even comes close to buying gold and silver. Because like I said, even if we're wrong, 
the price goes down another 10 or 15 percent, and happy days come back, which they're not. But if they do, cash your gold and silver in, and you have the insurance and the potential of not having your money bailed in when these problems hit the world, a potential war. And I usually try to stay out of politics on this show, but certainly the deal that John Kerry and our president just cut with Iran has to be the dumbest thing I've ever seen politically. To sit there and give a deal to a country that says they want to take the U.S. out as infidels, kill every Jew in the world, and they wouldn't even release four Americans, and we gave them everything they wanted. I mean, tell me, and, and then Obama comes out and says that 99% of the world loves this deal, and yet not one surrounding country thinks it's a good deal. The rhetoric continues, and it, it sits to me uh, amazing to look at the power we're given Iran and the applications they're going to use the next decade and not think there's going to be some kind of war or a nuclear confrontation down the road. It just doesn't make any sense. But anyway, uh, I, I say gold and silver right now. It's like buying your beach uniform and your beach hats and equipment during the skiing season and buying your skiing, see, skiing material during the summer season, and that's where I think we are. I still have a very strong gut feeling. And one last thing before we leave, based on the number of pastors that are calling me and ministries calling me and, and Christians calling me just saying that they, the Holy Spirit is leading them to buy gold and silver. I mean, the amount of pastors has been amazing calling to buy silver and gold over the past month. So every time this has happened in the past, it, we've had a jump in gold and silver when uh, these people get restless and the Holy Spirit is talking. So anyway, uh, I just continue to say, hold the road at the worst. I wouldn't sell anything. If you want to wait for momentum buying, wait. But also, I think you'll be very happy if you're buying this thing over the next three months. Even if you're buying to hold only three months, I still think you'll have a very good return on gold and silver. So if you need to talk to us, you can reach us at 800-247-2812. That's 800-247-2812. And if you're not on my email blast, you can sign up on FTM daily uh, and hit the precious metals button. And we don't share your email with anyone. If you don't like the emails, you can unsubscribe. So uh, nothing to lose, and we don't share that information with anyone. So hopefully uh, we're near the bottom, and we do have the Fed meeting the next two days. So certainly we're watching that, even though it really means nothing long term. We'll continue to say we're going to raise the interest rates and not raise them. This will be the 19th straight month. They tell us they're going to raise the interest rates in the 19th straight month. They won't. And uh, so you just got to look at what they do and not what they say. With this week's Precious Metals Market Update, this is Tom Cloud signing out.